black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So these are what I'm coining high school chicken ranch wraps. They're pretty much identical to a chicken ranch wrap I used to eat literally almost every day back in high school. And uh, I was addicted to them, I'm not going to lie. I just loved the simple basic nature of them. You do not, you know, you don't toast off anything. You just keep it regular, degular flour tortilla, you know, no real fancified anything. They'd always be in the line uh, wrapped up in... Uh, saran wrap and uh, it's the most basic like low-end chicken finger you can find <laughs> which I had a few in the fridge and uh, in the freezer I should say I was like I could use those and then it's just a, a cheese blend like a cherry cheese blend a bunch of lettuce I put crispy onions in mine and the uh, the ladies in the calf would douse the interior with ranch, but I'm just going <clears> to <throat> douse it on a per bite basis. But cheap, easy, quick ass meal. Literally just like uh, Chicken fingers in the air fryer for 15 minutes, roughly. The rest you just toss in the tortilla and you're having yourself just a nice, light, crunchy, fresh, easy meal. That's all I felt like doing today. But... There's something so delicious about the simplicity of it. it reminds me of a uh, crispy chicken snack wrap from McDonald's that they seem to have discontinued. I believe. But I used to love those. They were like a buck thirty nine. A definite go to. Yeah, these were always uh, bang for your buck in the cafeteria. They were only three bucks, and uh, the ones in the in our calf were, were bigger than what I made here. They were like the jumbo size tortilla. They're hefty, stacked nice and full, and uh, it was a great. Filling quick and easy meal. In other news, I went swimming in Lake Superior today on September the 19th. Superior. And I've been in it in the summer. You know, that's not that warm of a lake. But it was beautiful out today humid like 
20 something, 25. And my mom was like, should we get one last dip in the season? All right, might as well check it out. Go right out there. Dip the toe, wasn't even that bad. There were a few people there, a few onlookers, people kind of just having a, taking advantage of the nice warm weather, having a blanket and, and a little picnic or whatever, collecting, uh, collecting rocks and like uh, rounded glass that washes up. No one else would go in, but we blasted in there. It's all sandbar. So you just wade in. Dive. And once you're in there, like once you're just, you acclimate after like, five minutes it honestly just became so enjoyable very refreshing a lot of health experts say shock in your body with cold water real good for the system but going in fresh natural water is for the soul it's so there's just something so honestly like rejuvenating about it it feels uh so primal Being in a clear, clear, crispy, cold lake. Also, one of the best cures for a hangover. Anytime I've been out partying at like a cottage lake or whatever, wake up in the morning. Hop in the lake. It just like wipes, just resets you and wipes like last night clean. And then you go grab, make like a breakfast sandwich, some bacon and eggs, and crack like one or two drinks just to, you know, and you're perfect. It's the best. I'm sure some of y'all will know that exact feeling I'm talking about if you've partied out on, the, out on a lake that refreshing dip it's just so good mm. and that just reminded me there was this like I can't remember what he was Norwegian Something like that, maybe. I don't think it was Russia, but uh, he was a YouTuber named Apator, and he used to go like swim in the ice and go through like. But he'd go out alone and he'd like slam shots of vodka and make really quirky, like He never talked, but he made noises. He's like very slapstick, comedy, strange videos of him just traveling around and doing outdoorsy shit that he liked to do. 
one of those being like dunking in cold lakes with ice and stuff. Um, he's very popular, has a lot of followers. Very interesting content. Very unique, one of a kind guy. But he died. I just recently learned that he that he died, making a video for YouTube. He drowned. And the eeriest thing is that his last video before he died was titled I'm Still Alive. Because I think he had like a, a little break in uploading, like a month or two break, and then he uploaded I'm Still Alive, and I think it was his birthday. And that's the last video he ever uploaded because he was then found dead and drowned on accident because he somehow when making the video couldn't get back up on the ice or something like that he ended up drowning so I don't know he's been dead for a little while now but I was just curious I was like you know you start thinking about like a creator that you used to watch and oh yeah and then you go search him up only to find out that he died. And uh, it's been like a few months. So crazy. Just that was wild. But if you never watched his videos, you should check, check his stuff out. If, like I'm sure his channel is just going to be up. Uh, I don't see why they would anybody would take it down. But yeah, very like just unique, strange, like Mr. Bean. He kind of had like a Mr. Bean outdoorsman vibe or something. Like he was just very... He was always implying things with like his body language and little noises and stuff, but never saying anything, you know, it was very interesting. Anyways, Apetor, A-P-E-T-O-R, check him out and R-I-P, but at least he died doing what he loved, right? He really could say he went out like authentic, so that's pretty legit. Anyways, so the next one, high school raps. Make them, they take two seconds, but they are good, delicious. Basically, uh, it's chicken ranch snack wrap. Uh, and you know what to do, you can live well, stay true.